Hello there all, and welcome to Alpha Polaris, an adventure horror game. So, what exactly is Alpha Polaris, you may be asking yourself. Well, let's try and find out, shall we? So, option-wise, there's minor, very minor graphical options you can see outside the game. In-game. Yeah, that's it. So what I shall do is I shall load an earlier game that, that jumps all the intro and the opening dialogue. So there's quite a lot of it. So I shall meet you back in game. So here we are. As you can see visually, the actual backgrounds and props are quite nice. There's also a little helpful handbar for any interaction hotspots. It might be worth keeping a reminder that it's there. And there's uh, the characters themselves, yeah, they're blocky and basic, really. The voice acting, as you'll hear, is good enough, though. It's decent, not, not outstanding or anything. Not Oscar-worthy, but... Uh, so the first irritating is... It's one of those adventure games where if you don't need something, you won't be able to take it until you need it. Then you can pick it up. So, yes... It's uh, and you can't progress until you have all the things you need. So you'll, you'll always just might have to backtrack occasionally. So this game's big. We have a notebook here. It's big. Addition to the point and click genre is the ability to to type in answers. Later on, you'll be given an option. You'll have to for this book. You'll have a few documents extra in here, and you'll have to go through with these clues and decipher these basically decipher these symbols not to give too many spoilers and you then have to click somewhere on the thing and after reading this book try and find what the word you're looking for and I have to be honest it's one of the most frustrating it's a nice idea but it's implemented in the most frustrating way you have to very it's very specific on the words you have to type in in fact the game itself is quite short in the way of what there is to do point and click wise most of my playtime was just getting stuck on these sort of puzzles. I mean, I mean, the one earlier on, uh, in here, later on, I have to track something. I, mean, I needed that. I didn't realize I hadn't picked up that triangulation device. I should have. In my fault, I admit they they give me the tools to solve it. And, uh, but it would have been good at that point for the game for him to give me an audio clue saying, "Oh, I need something else to use with this," to at least let me know I'd missed something. Spent a lot of time on that puzzle that <laughs> because I'd forgot to pick something up. So it has those kind of problems that sometimes that point and click games do have. So it's uh, it's very dumbed down in some ways, and you can't pick anything until you need it. But it, at the same time, it, when it should give you clues, it doesn't. And say so the idea of passing these documents to try to find exactly the right words is interesting. But it is very frustrating, just because of the amount of. Let's say it's very specific on certain words it wants you to type in, so you might want to be a bit of a, bit of a boff maybe, some sort of walking thesaurus, and it'll do you, do yourself a lot of favours. If you're not, either be prepared to use a lot of walkthroughs or maybe look for a different game. But yeah, I mean you could say the, the actual, visuals themselves. They're pretty good looking. The audio especially is pretty good in this game. The voice acting is competent. But there's the next problem, other than the short game time, is the horror side of it. Now, as I say, the game still like kind of just develops as they took inspiration from, you know, The Thing. Steve, you know, John Carpenter's The Thing and one of the all-time greatest movies. Horror set in the same sort of setting. Almost instant no-brainer. Unfortunately, <laughs> the actual horror bit itself, by the time anything horrible starts happening, or horror based, the game's virtually over. And it has a super weak ending as well. I mean, it's not a terrible ending, but. Uh... So, yes, it's short, visually nice kind of average point and click with an interesting mechanic. There are a couple of nice puzzles in here. Although one of them does have you baking a cake. That's not a, and I'm not joking there. That is one of the puzzles you have to do is to bake a cake. <laughs> so, hmm. 
don't recall that from the thing either. So I've got everything I need now. So we can listen to some voice acting. Hey, bro. You can at least click on to get through the through the dialogue. Which I Back should do there. here not to give try and give any spoilers. But we're hunting a polar bear. And you carry on talking to some of the characters now and again as well. But you know, yeah, I mean He's a big one, all right. I guess visually it's quite impressive. More than one would the little hand drawn characters are nice. So of course, you know, you can So that's sort of your usual <laughs> point and click stuff. The inventory works nice enough. Uh, what did I want to do? I want you to do uh, that's right. And now we can kaboom drop the bear. And there are a lot of cutscenes in between various parts of the game as well that tell the story. They're quite nicely done. But yes You'll also have noticed that it graphically, as nice as they are, you'll also notice that it's stuck in 1280 by 720 and that is the maximum resolution this game supports. Which for a game that came, that came out in 2012 is a strange backwards step. So now we can do all the bear stuff and... Careful! Relax. I don't think we can go till we've done this bit. So apologies for any spoilers. Uh, where was the bit I needed? Uh, that's it. Observe the bear. So the controls at least are smooth enough, or that they should be for a for a point and click. So yes, I'll conclude our dealings here, so not to give too many spoilers, but there, unfortunately, a game that sounds quite promising, so I do quite like my point and clicks now and again. I'm not a hardcore point and click player, but I do enjoy them when I'm in the mood for them. So it's not particularly great on the, the point and click, despite the interesting mechanic. Uh, the voice acting at least is decent, if not outstanding. The visuals are good, although you've pretty much seen most of the places <laughs> in this game already and most of it takes place on this base or at least around it very little uh, change of scenery so that one particularly frustrating puzzle of course like so well, several times you'll have to go through documents and try and decipher these different glyphs or symbols and so that bit can be very frustrating and and unless you're a walking thesaurus, it will take up a lot of your time. So, um, yeah, the horror side is very, very limited. Oh, and there's a... There is an option. Sometimes it seems like you might have options on dialogue, and but it, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change any outcomes, apart from one bit. It has to be <laughs> the most laughable sex scene I've ever seen in my... I'm not joking there is an actual sex scene in this game <laughs> and it is awful <laughs> it is beyond bad really it's almost worth buying just just to see it just it's just so it's cringe worthy to be honest with you I know I say that not as a prude or anything but just just <laughs> yeah I don't want to give any spoilers but if Watching a couple of digital bods get it on is your thing, and this is the game for you without a doubt. But say so I <laughs> found it more more amusement value than certainly not erotic in any way, shape, or form. So I think on that on that outstanding point, I think we'll probably conclude our dealings. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a failed. It's a game, to be honest with you. It's not one of the greatest games out there, either point and click, horror, or sex. It's, uh, it seems to fail at all three, unfortunately. So anyway, all, we shall include our dealings here. I hope you found this video useful. And as ever, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you take the time to like, comment, subscribe, to let me know that you're alive. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.